Ever since a man fell from Michigan from off of a party bus early Thursday morning, there are new calls for regulations for these transportation vehicles. Yeah, News Channel 5's Chris Davis is live downtown. And Chris, what do we know first about the accident and then what can be done about it? Metro police have released the name of the 22 year old that fell off of that party bus as Jacob Day. They say he fell face first into the pavement and then his legs were hit by the party bus. Now, as when it comes to regulations, a councilman put it this way. It's the wild, wild west. They're large, loud. They are all over downtown and what locals seem to love to hate. A few bad actors in this space create a race to the bottom. Councilman Freddie O'Connell would add limitless to that list. There are effectively no rules. O'Connell wants to see regulations for the industry as soon as possible. We don't have anything to tighten right now, right? Like that's, that's the issue with transportainment. And you may be surprised to hear the owner of the Nashville tractor agrees. The city doesn't have the authority to do safety inspections to do background checks on drivers, some very basic essentials that might have alleviated this problem. He says there are common sense ways to keep everyone safe. So the city has a history of working collaboratively with the operators to build regulation that makes sense for all involved. The only problem is it's the city that has limits. It's about 15 passengers. Anything over that, the city loses their authority to regulate those vehicles and it falls back on the state. And so far, the state has been unwilling to allow Metro Nashville to step in. O'Connell assumes legislators are seeing all of this too. Ideally, you know, you, part of what you do in governing is try to respond to crisis and tragedy. After all, when something is this large, loud, and limitless, it's certainly hard to miss. Now, Councilman O'Connell says if it was up to him, he would also limit the number of these transportainment vehicles downtown and incentivize those companies. They're doing it the right way and make sure they get more and the bad actors get less. But none of that can happen. None of the regulation can happen unless the state intervenes. We will, of course, keep an eye on what happens. Reporting live downtown, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.